Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, it's update time and uh, hopefully Monday the next update will land and uh, this update is actually quite exciting I think because it looks like we're going to get the mines and um, yeah for a player who loves Hipper like I do um, and Prince Eugen for that matter yeah I think Heim, Heinz Mines is going to be a very good ship so um, let's dig into the patch notes here and see what else uh, Wargaming has in store for us so uh, first up let's have a look at the first part of the new update document here it's quite an extensive one uh, the first one is an important change to containers and it's really pretty boring so let's skip over that one quickly it's just that uh, you have a guaranteed uh, chance of getting a ship uh, <laughs> one out of 40 containers or whatever it is uh, I haven't really read the details because honestly I don't really care <laughs> all right next up the main event that is the campaign and uh, this time around we get two ships again but it's going to be different from uh, last campaign you're not gonna have to choose between the ships in the end uh, you will get Sirocco like halfway like, through the campaign, I guess, uh, and then, um, of course, when the campaign ends, it is time to say hello to a brand new tier seven premium cruiser, the Mines, and this ship looks extraordinary, um, amazing actually. It's a long time since I've been this excited about a cruiser, probably all the way back to. Uh, well, Atago basically, I think. Uh, and let's just look at the details here. Uh, there's not that many details about mines, but there are a few. So uh, if you bought Weimar last month, then you'll know pretty much what to expect here. This is pretty much a hipper with Weimar guns on top. Um, so uh, fast firing guns, improved sonar, uh, hopefully the same one as hipper has. And uh, it says armor as good as a heavy cruiser's one. It doesn't say armor as good at Hipper or Prince Eugen, which is kind of a letdown. But um, I guess if it had that kind of armor, it would be too powerful. Uh, but we'll wait and see what the kind of armor it actually gets. And last but not least, look at that 4x4 torpedo launchers. That's 16 torpedoes, same as Atago. Probably less damage, but uh, still, uh, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> so uh, I'm quite excited to see what the rudder shift is on this thing here because uh, by tradition usually uh, cruisers who don't have as good armor they have faster rudder so uh, if this thing has less armor than Hiba I'm expecting faster rudder than Hiba but uh, I guess we'll see so the least exciting part of this update for me personally is the inclusion of Royal Navy carriers I mean I don't even play carriers and uh, the Royal Navy one seems to rely a lot on uh, fires and uh, carpet bombing and stuff like that. I'm not sure I would find that even remotely interesting. But uh, of course, some people, uh, players, they love carriers. So uh, that's good news for them, obviously. So the first one is the tier three Hermes here. And then uh, we go up to five Furious. And uh, all the way at tier seven, you find the Implacable. And uh, I guess we'll see about that. Naturally, there's also a new British carrier commander, Dennis Boyd here, and um, like his base skill is uh, like lowered air detectability range on any ship type, which is quite good, but mm, not sure it's a commander I'm going to spend much, uh, many resources on, to be honest. So uh, this is a good update for cruiser players, because uh, other than uh, mines, we also get the tier seven uh, Russian heavy cruiser Riga, and um, I'm not that excited about this ship, but it's always good to have new tier seven cruisers. And uh, although this one looks kind of like a downgraded Alaska, uh, I guess it'll be fun to take it out anyway. So uh, obviously I'll take it out, well, pretty much as soon as the update lands along with mines, naturally. I can't wait to try that ship. The next event is the Black Friday sale. And uh, if you haven't been with us, long in the world of warship legends then i can tell you that the black friday sale is pretty much uh, a few weeks where you can buy black containers uh, that give you all kinds of sweet stuff like uh, universal commendations insignia xp and commanders and stuff like that and it also gives you uh, a fleet of black ships and uh, there's a few to choose between this uh, update here uh, i think there's exeter and um, 
Alabama, I believe, and I can't remember the other two, but uh, they're pretty interesting ones. But of course, if you already have them, it kind of not that interesting because they really are exactly the same ships. They just have a uh, black camo. And uh, quite a surprise inclusion here, at least for me, is the next Warhammer collaboration that came out of nowhere because uh, I think we just had new commanders last update, but I'm definitely not complaining. One of the favorite things, my favorite things in the ship here is new commanders because they open up new builds and new possibilities and just pretty much more fun. Uh, it doesn't say what uh, the commanders traits are and it doesn't really have any details but i guess uh, that'll be released later on when the update drops or perhaps on the weekend i guess we'll find out uh, but very very exciting as an extra bonus we're also treated with no less than three seasons of ranked and uh, as far as i can read uh, there's no power-ups in this ranked season and that's like such a good thing for me because i really don't like the power-ups uh, that's kept me out of ranked pretty much ever since I started doing it. And the best thing is that the last ranked season, uh, I think it's 19, is actually tier 7. So that'll be the first ranked tier 7 um, season we'll have without power-ups. And uh, I will definitely be playing that one. So uh, last but definitely not least, uh, there's balance changes and uh, there's some pretty interesting ones in this one here. Uh, the New Mexico is nah, not that interesting and uh, Jellico is also not that interesting. But look at the legendary Kleber here. <laughs> the torpedo range get cut from 8 kilometers to 6 kilometers. Wow, that is quite a cut. And uh, yeah, I mean, yes, the ship needs it definitely. It is too powerful. Uh, but. <laughs> I think that's gonna ruffle some feathers with uh, <laughs> some of the, the clever lovers out there. But uh, yeah, it's a good thing, so I don't have anything against it. And also, evasive maneuvers for carriers. Uh, that thing was always ridiculous and overpowered. And uh, now the planes are not invulnerable anymore. They just only take 50% uh, less damage. I guess that's better. I can live with that. Um, still not perfect, but uh, yeah, it's okay. And some of the more interesting stuff is actually at the very end of this one here in the miscellaneous. Uh, because Wargaming added the epicenter scenarios for Tears of the Desert and uh, Trident. And uh, that is interesting. Um, I never actually tried epicenter when they added it last time. I never got that map with epicenter on it, so I never tried it. But I'm very excited. We need something new to, yeah, like change the gameplay. <laughs> So a reworked spawn points for Haven, not too sure I like that one. Uh, last time they reworked the spawn points on uh, shards and they totally messed it up. So uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that one. And speaking of shards, it seems that they reworked the middle spawn on the map again. Uh, I don't know why that is, because the problem is with the other two spawns. Um, but anyway, the map is ruined anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> Uh, and that's about it for the, um, the update here. So uh, pretty much everything is at high point, but of course mines is uh, number one. And then the new Warhammer commanders, like fantastic news, love that. Um, and uh, also the campaign, like we get two ships instead of one, that's a good thing. Then we get the British carriers and the last Russian heavy cruiser, which is also very exciting. I can't wait for that one. Uh, and uh, in the end, well not actually in the end, but we also get uh, three ranked seasons, which is a great thing as well, along with uh, Black Friday, also fantastic. So uh, this is probably one of the best updates in a long, long time. There's something for everyone. There's new commanders, new cruisers, uh, new carriers, and uh, Black Friday, new black ships. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So I'm very excited and uh, of course, as soon as the update drops on Monday, I will whale my way to mines and uh, also, uh, of course, the new Russian tier 7 Riga and uh, we'll see how they do first of all. So uh, very excited and uh, I hope to see you out there guys.